I always left the golf club face open until I used this drill. Now, as golf coaches, we're always trying to think of new ways, better visuals to help you improve your golf. Now, for me, this one has worked the best, no matter your age or ability. And also, it's great for your irons and your driver. Now, be warned, there is a little bit of a difference drawing back in. between how you do it with your irons I'm not leaving how that you do face your driver. open anymore. But you know what, let's get into this drill. Welcome to the channel. I'm Alex Elliott, a top 50 world coach. We've got tips five times a week, five minute, simple golf videos that are powered by you. Let's get into it. I've got my golf ball box on the ground here. And on that note, what golf balls did you use this year? I've been using the Pro V1X. I've really enjoyed it. Now with the iron, this is what I want you to do. Our goal is to get our hands ahead, isn't it? A bit something like that, where it's all flush up against the box, but our club face square. Where most of us try and get our hands ahead is we leave it open like that. Now, from the player cam perspective, you can see a massive gap between the toe of the golf club and the golf ball box. I repeat that again, a gap between the toe of your golf club and the golf ball box. So, this is what I want you to do. I've got my forehand in my hand here. This is the longest club that I have in my bag. Go and grab your longest club and get the golf club flush up against the box. Not the whole grooves, just lying square to the box as you can see here. Then place your hands on and all I want you to do for three reps is go to the top of your backswing, come into impact and try and get your hands ahead but your club face square, okay? You're gonna have to work out what moments, what movements you've got to make and what feelings you have. This is why I know it works at all abilities. I'm not telling you what I feel, you're working out what you've got to do to achieve that, that. Okay, let me do two more reps for you. Really watch this, this is for irons, this bit. Boom. And you know what, first time you leave it a little bit open, learn what you do to square it up. Boom. I just feel a little bit of that. Knuckles away from wrist. Look how it squares the face up with my hands ahead. Right, that is how I do it with irons, but before we go on to driver, let's sit one away. On the 10th here, I have actually been a little bit of a wimp when I've been playing. And I've been hitting four iron. I know it's a par five, but it just puts me in play. Let me show you how I hit it. Look at that, drawing back in. Not leaving that face open anymore. Now, this is the bit I am most excited about, the driver. Because, think of the scenario, right? You keep hitting the driver harder and harder and harder, and it just spins more off to the right and goes higher and even sometimes even shorter. This is because your club face is open. Now, remember, I said at the start, there is a difference between what we did with your irons and what you've got to do with your driver. This is that. So we know with a driver, we don't want our hands too far ahead, do we? It's already a low lofter club. Like I have 10 and a half degrees on this. You probably got somewhere between nine and maybe 12 on yours, but this is what I want you to do. And I love using this golf ball box because of it, because you've got sort of this much height to use against. I'm now, going to place it right in the middle of the box. Now on my Pro V1 box, it creates like a bit of a triangle. You can see that from the player cam perspective there to like where the golf ball would go. So you can clearly see where your face was open or your face is closed. Now, what I want you to think about here, it's the top edge of your driver and the top edge of your golf ball box is what you're trying to match up. Now, Really important, get the right ball position so that golf ball box is simply just your golf ball. You're gonna make three swings again where you swing back and down and you're trying to match up the top of your golf ball box with the top of your golf club. And one thing I would say, and it might sound like a strange analogy, think, right, this is a longer club. It takes a little bit longer for the message to get there. You know, like in olden times, the longer the wire, the longer it takes to get there. Um, so maybe exaggerate what you were feeling with your iron a little bit more in order to achieve that square face with your driver. After sort of two to three reps, your first ball you're gonna hit, do it 
slowly, sort of 50% speed, revisit the box, then hit away. Let's, let, let's have a look at this and let's analyze mine. So, okay, this is the 50% one. Just look at that, like frozen rope, so straight. Your next one, maybe build up the speed, but like I said, if you don't feel comfortable, just go back to your box. Now, before I hit that one, and you're gonna wanna see how good that one goes, because if that one's gone that distance, you probably see before me, let's say 240 on 50% one, I wonder how far my long one's gonna go. Now, the important thing to think about in the golf swing, listen to me carefully here, we're looking at how you hit the golf ball straight in isolation right here. Just almost going in simple layman's terms, how can we square this face? Because we're constantly leaving it open. But you have to understand, in order to improve your golf, it's understanding the difference between your face and your path relationship. Now, simply, if we're wanting to draw the golf ball, we have to swing a little bit to the right and have our face a little bit close to where we're swinging. That is how we stop the slice. So just think about it in that way. If you're wanting to fade the golf ball, we have to swing a little bit left of target and have our face slightly open. Now, I don't know many players that have to go down that route. It's more the other route. Okay, here we go. Now look at the difference in distance here. Here we go. Whew, I'm actually excited to hit this myself. Look at that. Launched a little bit higher. Tiger line down 10. That is what we want to see. Guys, thanks so much for watching. You've really got to use that method and don't forget to subscribe.